Okay, these are instructions for you, Paul, uh, how to build the stealth PC hexagon. So, ideally, a bit of a dip in the ground, that always helps. Uh, right, so we're going to start off with the TC triangle and another one at lower level. Then, what we want to do is just place the door for the TC halfway next to it, and then the floor triangle. TC lives in there build up from the rest. What we now need to do is foundations at the height of this highest level. Best thing to do is start here. This if you imagine is going to be the central triangle. Everything is one block or one kind of ring all the way around. So we will just fill in the gap around this central triangle so that there is one item or ring around it. Just like this. The other way you can think of it, so that's the central one, and then you've got the ring all the way around. Or if you want to look at the outside, you've got sort of two, and you've got one, and you've got two, and you've got one, and you've got two. Then what we need to do is we need to build the outside walls all the way around on the outside. Nice and easy. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to build a wall frame here, full size wall on the side, build a half wall, of course make sure the TC is placed in, and that's going to be our step up. In terms of placing the uh, doors, I would definitely put the boxes in first, it's much harder to do afterwards. Okay, so what I just did was, this is going to be one of the rooms where we store our loot. We're then going to have our other loot rooms, then this is the bedroom. I'm just going to do the half walls. Of course, these will be made out of twig, which we can then delete later. And these just give us the platform that we can then put our boxes on. Okay, and then editing mode, I'm just going to delete that one. Okay, and then this one we leave open. So, if we have a look here, doors go in, doors go in, doors go in, doors go in. The idea of this is so that when we come down, this one, doors open, we have our boxes already in there. This one covers the fact that the TC is behind there, which would be in a door. So that's the kind of trick of this base. That also allows us to access the storage at the top. This one, just so it's not left open, we are going to put a half wall here. And then let's put a bit of a step up. We're going to have to have a single sort of box down here. It will sort of stick out, but that allows us to kind of jump and crouch up onto the next floor. Now I'm going to put a block in everywhere except for the single jump up area. So I'm just going to show you it's exactly the same, it's just filling everything in except for the bit above the TC. Uh, right, now in terms of doing the walls, we're going to have the walls going round. There is going to be a gap there. And we're going to go along, 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 along. Oh, sorry, mistake, not that one. But yes, to these two. And also a wall here. And we'll have a half wall here. This is then going to be our next level to jump up. And a half wall on that there. Right, the doorways, I'll just show you how we're placing these. Kind of like a bit of a triangle. If you want to remember, you've got two triangles that are free in that corner, two triangles that are free in that corner, and then the rest have like this triangle shape here. Just to show you how it works, they face outwards, these face into the triangle, same on the other side, one that faces outwards, one that faces into the triangle, one that faces into the triangle. The idea of this one, so when we open these two doors, you and I we can run through, absolutely no problem. 
but if we were to open the outside door to shoot out we can still shoot out but no one actually can get through this gap so even if our body is dead here or dead in here people can shoot through but these doors kind of give us the option to look out without anyone actually being able to break in if we were to leave them open same story on this side here okay right let's build up the roof okay so we're going to go all the way around again these ones fill up the entire roof now we're going to have this one this one is not going to be that height it's going to be one step down but we do need these to be full height I have tried them lower but the trouble is when you actually get up out of here you need the full height for your character to be able to stand up um, we then put a half one on the top and then we need to have a triangle roof on the top of that as a little lid and then inside let's put that triangle frame for that hatch so I'm just going to get the hatch ladder hatch, you need to put a ladder first then the ladder hatch ladder hatch goes here just press R to rotate so that the kind of opening is towards us this way that when we fold it down it's going to sort of block that way when we come down so I'm just going to put in the roller doors or the garage doors I think I need to be inside to be able to place this one uh, let me do it let me just see if I can do it without flying hmm, interesting it doesn't like I need to place that one maybe it needs no ladder hats to be in Ah, oh, okay. It needs to have no ladder hatch, it seems. Okay, well, imagine I put the ladder hatch back. I'll just show you that it can go back. The ladder hatch. I think the triangle is still there. I just need to put the ladder. Get me another lad. Put that one. Put that one. Ladder hatch. Rotate place. Okay, so it needed the garage door to be placed in first. So you were to.